rejoice and celebrate life in jesus it's a time to recall to rejoice and to reveal the birth the death and the resurrection of jesus dear friends let's begin this new year seeking intercession from our blessed mother mary joining anjana abraham the hope to the to rejoice and celebrate life in jesus in matthew chapter 18 verse 3 jesus is telling us unless and until we become like children we will never enter into the kingdom of god come let's see how children rejoicing this new year in jesus name
the hope to endure rejoice and celebrate life in jesus the hope to endure rejoice and celebrate life in jesus your friends it's really beautiful and it's wonderful and it's amazing the present generation calling jesus the mighty lord the prince of peace the king of kings and the lord of lords here we can hear the navigators of jesus singing and praising jesus calling him his name the mighty name the prince of peace the lord of lords
the hope 2020 rejoice and celebrate life in jesus yesu christu sarva shaktinum rajaadi rajanum nammade nitya pidavum samadhana prabhu aanu ida simhasanathil ninnu oru swaram srabichu da njan ellam navigarikkunu velipaadi 21 5 ഒരു പുതിയ സൃഷ്ടിയാകുക അതാണ് പരമപ്രധാനം യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിലായിരിക്കുന്നവൻ ഒരു പുതിയ സൃഷ്ടിയാണ് പഴയതെല്ലാം കടന്നുപോയി ഇതാ ദൈവമെല്ലാം നവീകരിക്കുന്നു എസ്എക്കൽ മുപ്പത്താറ് ഇരുപത്തിയാറിൽ വചനം പറയുന്നു ഞാൻ എനിക്കൊരു പുതിയ ഹൃദയം തരും ഒരു പുതു ചൈതന്യം നിന്റെ മേൽ നിക്ഷേപിക്കും ഈ പുതുവത്സരത്തിൽ നമ്മളിൽ ഒരു പുതിയ ചൈതന്യം വന്ന് നിറയട്ടെ ഒരു പുത്തൻ അഭിഷേകം വന്ന് നിറയട്ടെ ആകയാൽ നാം യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിനു വേണ്ടി ജീവിക്കുന്നവരാണ് നിത്യജീവൻ ലക്ഷ്യമായിരിക്കട്ടെ നമ്മുടെ യാത്ര
Rejoice and celebrate life in Jesus. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verse 4, as it is written in the book of Isaiah, there is someone in the desert shouting, Prepare the way for the Lord, make his path straight, let all the valleys be filled up, let all the mountains and hills be made low, let all the crooked ways be made straight, and all men shall see the salvation of God. Yes, my dear friends, like the great prophets like Elijah, Moses, David, Ezekiel, and the great prophetess Queen Esther, let us prepare our hearts to welcome the Lord by uprooting all works of evil day by day and make our hearts the choicest place for the Jesus to live in. As we sing the second hymn, these are the days of Elijah. Let us prepare our hearts for it. Thank you. 
ഹോപ്പ് ട്വന്റി ടു റിജോയ്സ് ആൻഡ് സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് ലൈഫ് ഇൻ ജീസസ് യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആസ് വി ആർ സെലിബ്രേറ്റിംഗ് ന്യൂ ഇയർ ആൻഡ് വി ഹേർഡ് സച്ച് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ സോങ്സ് ഫ്രം ഡിഫറെന്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ഇറ്റ്സ് ടൈം ടു ഹിയർ ദ ഗുഡ് ന്യൂസ് ഷാപ്പൻ യുവർ ഹിയർസ് ടു ലിസൺ ടു ദ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ മെസ്സേജ് ഓഫ് ഷവലയ ഡോക്ടർ എഡ്വേർഡ് അഡയസ് ഹാപ്പി ന്യൂ ഇയർ I think you love to really smile because this is a very new joyful year. So let's say together happy new year. Happy new year. Now my wish for you for this 2020 is that this would be a year of joy. Uh-huh. Isn't it nice? Huh? A new year full of joy. Now today is my little reflection that should I hope you will carry it throughout the year. would be that this will be a year of joy once again happy new year happy new year now i i these days i happen to see one little picture three little boys about 7 years old must be three little boys and uh, they have come out of some competition what competition i don't know but the picture sees is uh, the first place second place third place no there's a winner stands huh? three stands and the uh, picture says the, the 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 caption was this happiness is a state of mind joy is a state of mind and do you know what is there the boy who got first prize he is standing very serious the boy who got second prize he is standing very serious the boy who got third prize he's laughing and holding this third prize uh, this picture saying that third huh? he is rejoicing the first one is so sad <laughs> the second one is so sad but the third one is celebrating and the caption says happiness is a state of mind i think sometimes there are too many things in life what i would call kill a joy <laughs> what kills joy <laughs> things that kill happiness in our lives some of us are maybe searching and you know finding things that can destroy happiness <laughs> what i don't have <laughs> or what others have and what i miss all the time we are looking around and finding reasons to keep us maybe disturb anxious kill the joy sometimes uh, some people i think uh, some of the thinkers some of the people who talk on human behavior say one problem of modern modern life is overthinking was it overthinking <laughs> too much thinking am i right even now you must be thinking seriously at home what is there ladies must be thinking you know is dinner okay okay is that we can be here and be joyful <laughs> but then we are looking for things that will keep us upset they say either we are in the past <laughs> regrets i didn't do that i couldn't get this if i had tried a little more <laughs> i could have been much better <laughs> or tomorrow 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 what will happen tomorrow huh? youngsters are so worried about how will my life be looking at all these old people their terrible life will i be like them <laughs> like their life <laughs> living like them <laughs> my job i will i get a job proper job or parents are worried about children so uh, my this little caption that i read i said happiness is a state of mind joy is a decision we can be joyful on anything at least we are here very comfortably <laughs> we are here to see 2020 wonderful huh? 2020 we are here huh? so many people who couldn't reach here maybe maybe that also we can say that, oh i am so sad <laughs> not ending <laughs> continuing <laughs> for anything we can find huh? uh, happiness joy or sometimes we can find problems this is what we may call overthinking 
looking at the past, looking to the future, keeping ourselves worried, disturbed. But then, uh, I think uh, we can every time decide to live now, live here, live today, and say that, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Whatever I have, whatever I don't have, but Lord, thank you. I like this Bible passage very much. Sometimes this must be in a Bible passage I have quoted so often from St. Paul's letter to Philippians, chapter 4. I would like to read from verses 4 to 7. Philippians, chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. St. Paul is saying, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance. The Lord is at hand. Have no anxiety about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. From which book I am reading from the Bible? St. Paul's letter to Philippians. Philippians. If you read the background, Philippians is a book, is a letter, letter to Philippians. It's a letter St. Paul wrote from a prison. He's imprisoned in Rome. Prison is not a nice place, is it? <laughs> prison, a Roman prison. He's a prisoner. And naturally, in a very negative situation. But from there, he is writing to this little group in Philippia. And he's saying, perhaps so many times he's saying, be joyful, be happy. Maybe he's in chains. And he says, don't worry. <laughs> don't have any anxiety about anything. We are not so much in problems. Again, I say, maybe we are in prison. Maybe we have financial debts. Maybe in our family, there are issues, there are problems. Which families don't have issues? Looking at our children, maybe tomorrow, there are problems. But then, again, I say, joy is a decision. Happiness is a decision. One of these days I was reading in a newspaper. They were writing about smile. When do we smile? When we are happy. <laughs> when do we smile? When we are happy. They are saying, no, not only that. When we smile, we will feel happy. <laughs> Even if we are sad, but decide to smile. If you smile, if you purposely smile, if you meet a person, smile. If you find a friend or even an enemy, smile. And they are saying, smile brings in happiness. What I'm saying is this, this let this 2020 be a year of joy. In this year, Make it a point. Our spirituality is the spirituality that St. Paul is saying, rejoice always. Huh? Rejoice in the Lord always. That is the best thing that we can do. Jesus, worry? Why to worry? Huh? Look at the birds. Look at this lily in the field or little grass. Everything is so beautiful, so nice. But it is our decision to turn away from our overthinking and look at the beautiful things around and say, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for making me me. Thank you for giving me this life. Thank you for my partner in life. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my parents. Thank you for the place I live. Happiness is a state of mind. Joy is a decision and let 2020 be a year of joy. Happy New Year.
with a little more joy happy new year the hope 22 rejoice and celebrate life in jesus your friends togetherness is beautiful as we know two or three gathers together in his name there will be god and how beautiful when family together sing and praise in this beautiful new year let's listen the mustard seed as one family rejoicing and celebrating in jesus name you were the word at the beginning what we They hope to do it. Rejoice and celebrate life in Jesus. To throw ourselves into the life of the Holy Spirit, it's a beautiful thing. And God exactly wants us to do that. Jumping ourselves into the hands of the Holy Spirit, it's the most beautiful thing. Today, as we sing the song, Holy Spirit, guide us and lead us. Let me... throw myself into your loving hands this is a beautiful song and let's join
The Hope 2020. Rejoice and celebrate life in Jesus. Man, when he thinks about all the blessings which we have received, we have nothing but to praise and thank our God all through our lives. And that would not be enough. So let's offer our lives together to the hands of our God. And what we have, just two hands and one heart. And this song says the same thing. Let's join together in this beautiful song.
these hands take me and use me as I am when it's all I have to The Hope 2020. Rejoice and celebrate life in Jesus. Dear God friends, it's time to end this program. I hope you remember the beautiful message Shavlayar Dr. Edward Adayat was telling us. Happiness is a state of mind and to be joyful is your decision. Take out all the worries from you. Believe in Jesus. He loves you and he cares for you. And in Jesus, your life will be beautiful. I wish you all a very happy new year. Thank you.